and welcome everybody welcome back to the nation it's me Tho and right behind the camera we got Bob and we are gonna try something a little bit different moving forward we got our Padawan over here Kevin say what's up Kevin what's up guys so um, listen me and Bob uh, we're no experts but you know we do uh, we do like to drink we have tried out many different types of bottles and uh, you know what? He's he said he uh, he hasn't been sure of, of what kind of uh, flavor he likes or his style. So you ready to explore with us? Yeah, let's do it. And this week we are going to be able to try out. Uh, this time it's Philly Buster Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So, what has your experience so far um, in um, in drinking hard liquor for for that fact, whiskey or anything when it comes to like vodka, tequila, etc.? Well, I don't really drink a lot uh, things like this, you know, hard liquors. I've always just been drinking beer at, at the house. I'm trying to get started on something new like hard liquors. Uh, it's a very, it's definitely a different experience, like. It's it it feels very comforting, I would say, very satisfying in a way. So uh, trying something like this is going to be a really huge step because I'm not used to like these kinds of liquors. So we kind of um, uh, for his first time um, doing this with us, he's actually going to be trying something out here which is 116.10 proof. So we're gonna see how this is gonna really, really turn out. Uh, I'm also pretty lightweight, so <laughs> we'll see what happens when I drink this stuff. We'll see how he gradually uh, learns how to uh, enjoy uh, the pleasure of being a whiskey whore. <laughs> so, Kevin, are you ready to try it out? We're gonna first do uh, what we normally do is, uh, and I'm sure you've seen the videos already, mm -hmm. we are gonna first try it neat and see how it goes. All right, see you guys in a bit. Oh, smell that. Ooh. So, uh, some of the ways that you're going to be able to uh, uh, taste this, right? This is a little bit tutorial for you, some uh, beginners out there, is you're going to uh, smell it both with your mouth and nose. Okay. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's try it out first. I mean, you can definitely taste that uh, the barrel in there, um, unlike the. Hatazaki that we tried previously, and of course the silver whiskey. This is a little bit more uh, whiskey like, of course, since bourbon, it does smell like bourbon also. Um, do you have any favorite bourbons that you've had so far yet? Uh, I mean, the only bourbon that I've ever had was Jim Beam. So, and, I'm, and again, like I've never done any hard liquors before, so this being like the second bourbon I've ever tried, this might come out pretty nice. So, so. Yeah, a, a lot of bourbons are very affordable too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've actually like grown to like bourbon, like ever since I tried Jim Beam like a couple of years ago. And so uh, I bought myself a bottle like earlier this quarantine and uh, I'm really liking it. So that's very starter like bourbon, you know, for the price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, it's it's very well known. So mm -hmm. let's um, let's try it out. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's let's try it out. Yep. Ooh, oof. for something this strong, it's surprisingly 
Smooth. Yeah, really smooth. I've had very strong. Ooh, man. I'm I, I'm liking it too much already. This is a problem. <laughs> oh. Oh, mama. Yeah, this this is really good. Like the uh, despite the fact that it's really really strong, I'm liking how smoothly it just goes down my throat, and then ooh. yeah, there, there's there's no there's like some sort of like relief that you're right. feeling. It, it, there's just no no burn. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm getting I'm getting some burns, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, That's this is me. I'm this, still, this I'm still is, new to this, guys. This is the best part about this one is uh, you guys actually get a chance to uh, see somebody that's uh, in this journey uh, with us. Very uh, inexperienced, but getting through it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, by the way, uh, Kevin is uh, my nephew. Uh, I'm actually uh, uh, one of his godfather in, in our uh, Filipino tradition. Uh, there's more than one. Uh, and I'm very glad to be able to share this with him. And of course, uh, him and Bob are around the same age. So this is, very, uh, this is something very good to uh, um, be able to um, uh, do this one bottle nation with them. Right, now that um, we were able to try it neat, we're going to try this on the rocks. Unfortunately, today um, I didn't have enough time to actually make the the round ice mold, so we're just gonna have to have some cute regular cube ice. Uh, next time around, Kevin, I'm gonna make sure I have that ready for you. So, what do you think, Bob? Put it on the rocks? I'm ready. All right. got it about a minute on the rocks uh you ready for this uh different experience from neat mm -hmm. all right let's try it out cheers cheers now you can already tell that the the smell has uh yeah it's already like has, has changed a little bit yeah oh mama the sweet came out. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a lot sweeter. What do you think of it uh, compared to neat so far? I mean, I've always preferred hard liquors on the rocks because I'm just not like capable. Like sometimes I'm not really capable of handling it neat. So, but this uh, on the rocks is really nice. It's. It's even it's even smoother than when it was neat, mm -hmm. but I like it. I like it neat. Mm. Uh, so Bob, tell us what you think. So Kevin. Um, I'll let you go first. Between okay. neat and on the rocks, uh, I know you're uh, you're in the early stages of this journey. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like better? Uh, well, even though I prefer hard liquor on the rocks, I actually kind of like it better neat. Ooh, I didn't. Yeah, surprised so me. It, it, it surprised me too because I've, like I said before, like I've I've never really like been able to handle like neat because it's just so strong but this one just goes down really really smoothly yeah i i i'm, I'm not going to disagree with him neat was surely um was surely better so mm -hmm. i'm 
Um, I'm, I'm not mad that our, our ice mold wasn't ready today. Yeah, not um, either. So, I mean, once like this, this once this melts, yeah, I'm, it's I'm ready to go, to go straight. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's still good, like, on the rocks. Like, you're, whether it's on the rocks or just straight out need, this, this is actually a really good uh, bourbon. You could have just kept talking because I was going to take some sips. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob, tell us what you think. As you can see this bottle, it's got a nice, very amber uh, color to it. It gives you the description in the back. This was aged two years ago. As you can see part of the description, it does say 120 proof. It does have a rounded bottle shape. As you can see, uh, the um, distillery filibuster is on top engraved, and everything else has a sticker in it. Uh, there's nothing really crazy and special about the bottle. Uh, the top of the cork does look pretty nice though. You just buy the bottle stuff, it doesn't come in a box. More of the description right here. Now, it does say 120 proof in the uh, back description, but in the front, it does say 116, which is a little bit confusing there for people. So, so far, we got this bottle from Clifton Commons Spirit and Wine um, over here in Jersey. So big shout out to them. This is about a $50 bottle. I would have to say, I give it a rating of one full bottle because it's something I definitely would get again. Um, for the price, it's good. I would probably say share it with at least more than two people. So it's good that it's me, Bob, and Kevin is able to uh, share this together. Uh, what about you, Kevin? I mean, personally, I would feel just for me, it would be half a bottle only because um, I am on a budget so like if I did have the money I would definitely go for a full bottle on this but just but because I don't have a lot of money for for this kind of bottle specifically it's um, it's it would be nice if like other people had this and I, I would still be um, okay to drink with it. So when 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 you're there in your career started I'm sure this is something that you would probably change your oh, mind to oh yeah definitely. one full bottle right mm -hmm. yeah definitely definitely it's it's all it's only because of reasons for money you know because I'm just understandable yeah recent graduate and don't have a job so uh, I, like I, congratulations I, your graduation by the way <laughs> thank you thank you uh, but yeah like it like if uh, if I did have the money it would definitely be a, a full bottle for me that's that. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite Filipino foods. This is pork sisig. Uh, this is good um, served uh, usually on a sizzling platter. That's the way it's usually presented. Uh, this is a long process if you want to cook it the right way. It has a tangy vinegar taste to it and usually it's with onions. Look at that crispy skin. Eat it with beer or whiskey. Got this one over at Kabayan Union. Go check them out and order some today. Also, big shout out to Dandy Swag for these nice face masks. Um, they made it for uh, Rhythmic Palms, um, and they can customize anything you want. So go on Facebook, just search Dandy Swag. That's D-A-N-D-I-S-W-A-G. Big shout out to Ira and Dorothy. Uh, so also, guys, feel free to add me on Twitch. I do a lot of uh, video games. I play Apex Legends, uh, Call of Duty Warzone, and I'm also trying to experiment, uh, experiment playing new video games too. Uh, so feel free to follow me, add me. Uh, I am twitch.tv slash kdap27. That's K-D-A-P 27. And also, don't forget to uh, add One Bottle Nation in, on Twitter and, of course, Instagram. If you guys have a bottle locally in your area that's not available here in Jersey, uh, send us a message and uh, we'll figure out how to get it on One Bottle Nation. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like it if you do and also share it. Uh, and don't forget to definitely uh, leave a comment below and tell us your experience with this bottle today.